you need to have a home server. Imagine having the power to store and access your files, photos, and videos seamlessly across all your devices, from smartphones to laptops to TVs, but you don't need to pay a monthly subscription to a cloud service. And you have the security knowing that your data is in your hands and not on someone else's server. It's time to take back control of your data. Ugreen sponsored this video to show off their new line of NAS boxes that takes away the stress of custom building a home server and provides a simple and easy to use system that anyone could figure out. Now I get it, Linux is not for everyone. Tinkering with TrueNAS, Unraid, network shares, VPNs, it's a lot. And for people who just aren't into home labs or home servers, don't wanna really delve into that rabbit hole. And that's where these pre-made NAS boxes come in. They take the complexity of home labs and try their best to simplify it with an easy to use graphical interface and a step-by-step -step wizard to set up your local storage. But that doesn't mean these things are only for noobs. There's enough here that allows you to dig deeper if you want to, but simple enough for new users to jump in as well. Now I'll admit, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but I absolutely have to have a home server to store all my data with ease. These are the new NAS sync boxes from Ugreen, and they come in two, four, six, and eight bay variants, depending on how many drives you intend to have. To test, Ugreen sent me the NAS sync DXP4800 plus. In the box, you get the beautiful NAS itself, power cable, couple of ethernet cables, manuals, and a few tools to get you started. Setting it up is relatively easy. The hot swap design allows you to simply push on the drive bay to remove the drive without having to shut everything down and take it apart. The drive trays are uniquely designed to be able to expand and retract so you can slide in your hard drives without using any tools at all, but still be able to fit snugly into the device. Then you just simply slide them all in and they connect on the other side. They also have a little lock on them in case you don't want your baby to accidentally press and pull one of your drives out or for your nosy roommates who try to sell your hard drives for drug money. You do need to use the screwdriver to remove two screws to be able to get access to the flash storage. These are two NVMe M.2 slots that can handle up to four terabytes each for redundant fast storage. I usually will put video projects I'm editing on the NVMe drives so the data is still safe in case a drive breaks, but I can edit directly off the fast storage from my network. Then you also have the two SODIMM RAM slots. This config comes with eight gigs of DDR5 RAM out of the box, but it can be expanded up to 64 gigs if you need the memory. But if you're just using this for basic NAS storage and maybe a Plex server, you'll be just fine out of the box. The CPU powering it is the Intel Pentium 8505, which is a five core processor that will handle basically anything you need in a normal NAS and will still keep it low powered since you're probably gonna be running this thing 24 seven as its base TDP is only 15 watts. On the back of the device, we have some nice IO. The barrel power plug, two RJ45 ethernet ports. One is 2.5 gig and the other is 10 gigabit. Two USB 2.0 ports, a USB 3.2 port and an HDMI out port, which is a nice touch in case you wanna watch media directly from the device or access the BIOS or anything. We also have a removable fan grate here for easy cleaning and the single quiet fan that is keeping everything inside nice and cool. Then on the front, we have the power button, an SD card reader, another USB 3.2 port and a final USB-C. So they make it very easy to digest data directly to the device if you want via external hard drives or SD cards, depending on your workflow. I put in four Western Digital Reds that Ugreen sent to test this product, but you can use any drives of any size depending on your needs. Although Ugreen did say that each of these drives can support up to 22 terabytes of storage. So if you max out the bays and the two NVMe slots, you can have a maximum of 96 terabytes of storage. Let's check out the software and initial setup. But do know that this is just a prototype and the software is still in beta, so there's a good chance that a lot of things will change before this is officially released in a few months. After putting in my four drives, I just need to plug in the power and an ethernet cable and then turn it on. And it's obviously headless, so you can hide this somewhere in your house or keep it next to your router or something. To access the server from another device, you just need to go to find.ugnas.com on your local network and you're brought to this UI that easily detects your NAS and runs you through an extremely simple setup to get your drives configured. You can choose what RAID configuration you want to use and even gives you suggestions and explains the differences in RAIDs. Once configured, you can simply choose to open SMB share to access it from your Windows computer and that's basically it. You should be able to access all of your redundant storage anywhere on your network now. The Ugreen software that is included is part of the package. It's a simple and clean GUI that lets you watch over your server, install apps and utilities, or manage all your files directly. They have a built-in photos app that helps you easily organize all of your photos or videos using their built-in software. And while it's not in the App Center now, they did confirm with me that it will have Plex support soon, so you can use Plex to host all your favorite movies and TV shows and watch it directly from your home server. You will also be able to use popular services like Jellyfin or Home Assistant, all running simultaneously without any issues. And while you can access all of this from a browser easily, 
They also offer apps for Android, iOS, Windows, and macOS, so you can have access to your server and data from any device you use. I tried the iOS version of the app, and it worked pretty seamlessly and looked very good. The Ugreen software provided might still be a little rough around the edges for veterans of home servers, but I think once it's out of beta and Ugreen has a little more time to cook, it will have more and more features. If you feel more comfortable using your own operating system like TrueNAS or Unraid, Ugreen did confirm that you can change the operating system to whatever you want, but they would not officially support it and it will void your warranty, which is a big bummer. Ugreen is currently running a Kickstarter for these devices, which I guess is just to see how much interest there is and to get some promotion. So you can reserve one now via their Kickstarter, and this exact config I have, the NAS Sync DXP4800 Plus, says it will cost $699 at MSRP, but it's limited 40% off via Kickstarter down to $419. I don't know if it's worth it at that $699 price tag, but at $419, I think that is a pretty good price for what you get here, especially compared to other off-the-shelf NAS from companies like Synology. You're getting a great build quality, easy to use software, and just a quiet and sleek device that can help you store all of your data without having to mess around too much with settings. So if you're in that category of person who wants a no mess solution, you can go to the link in the video description to learn more about all of their new NAS boxes and reserve one yourself directly from their Kickstarter. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know in the comments if you already have a home server and what kind of setup you have so far. My name is Jason. Thanks for watching.